today we're going to do a real quick fuel filter change on a John Deere compact tractor with a diesel engine. Let's get started. Pop the hood open. Pull the side cover off. Just these two clips. We lift it off. And here is our oil filter and the fuel filters right here. First thing you do is turn off the fuel line. Just push it in and turn it clockwise. We'll slide a pan underneath, catch any dripping fuel. Next, we'll loosen the collar that holds the bowl on. It's put on hand tight, but this one's a little sticky, so I'm gonna pull it off with the pliers. At least get it started. Now we'll pull this off. You can see my shutoff valve's not working the best. We'll change out this filter. Got the bowl all cleaned out. Install our new rubber O-ring. Make sure you don't forget the spring in the bottom. Got our new filter. filter in the bowl with the spring underneath it. Slide the bowl on. Take our collar. And bring that back up. A little bit of a tight squeeze. Screw the collar on and I'm going to leave it loose. So I can let that bowl fill up. Turn the fuel on. Might be a little tight. Let all the air push out. And the bowl fill. And the trick here is, you want to get all the air out. You don't want to just cl close the fuel line, screw it tight with this air in there. If you get air in there, then you got to bleed it. The other thing you could do is fill the bowl, but this one is so tight in here, it would have been hard to do. So I'll just do it this way. And the bowl's almost full here. Wait till those air bubbles stop. There we go. Oh. All right, with the air pushed out, I can tighten this up. It looks good. All dripping is stopped. Now the nice thing about Filling this up this way is, hopefully you don't have to bleed the system. These are the bleeder screws here. And uh, we'll go ahead and start it up and see if that takes care of it. Oh, we got a little air in the line. So I'm going to have to bleed it. All right, to bleed it, just loosen this screw here. A little tight, get a wrench. Oh, see the air coming out of there? Tighten that back down and pull the air out of this one. That one looks good. Ah, we 
got air coming out here. All right, I'll tighten these down and see if that did the trick. That's all there is to changing the fuel filter. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.